हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ मॉड्यूल नंबर थ्री इंट्रोडक्शन टू एन ओप एम्प एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एन ओप एम्प सो कंटेंट्स कवर्ड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आइडियल ओप एम्प कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड प्रैक्टिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एन ओप एम्प एज वेल एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ओप एम्प इनपुट मोड्स द थ्री ओप एम्प इनपुट मोड्स दट वॉज डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वॉज सिंगल एंडेड इनपुट मोड डबल एंडेड इनपुट मोड डबल एंडेड इनपुट मोड इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एन डिफरेंशियल इनपुट मोड एंड थर्ड वन इज कॉमन एंडेड इनपुट मोड सो अलॉन्ग विद द थ्री इनपुट मोड्स ऑफ एन ओप एम्प वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वट आर दि आइडियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एन ओप एम्प एंड वी हैव कंपेर्ड विद आइडियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एन ओप एम्प विद अ प्रैक्टिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एन ओप एम्प सो कंटेंट कवर्ड इन दिस लेक्चर इज पैरामीटर्स ऑफ एन ओप एम्प so learning outcome after this lecture the students will have a better understanding of various parameters of an op amp so now we'll list out what are the various parameters of an op amp the various parameters of an op amp are input and output offset voltage input bias current input offset current input impedance output impedance common mode rejection ratio and sleeve rate So now we'll discuss each of these parameters in detail. The first parameter is input and output offset voltage. So in case of an input and output offset voltage, consider this circuit diagram. So in this circuit diagram, the two input terminals of an op amp are connected to ground. So when two input terminals of an op amp are connected to ground, so there will be a practically or ideally when two input terminals of an op amp are connected to ground ideally we expect zero voltage at the output terminal of an op amp but there will be a small dc voltage present at the output terminal of an op amp so this is small dc voltage present at the output terminal of an op amp we call it as an output offset voltage i repeat what is an output offset voltage so consider this circuit diagram the two input terminals of an op amp are connected to ground so ideally we expect zero output voltage but practically there will be a small dc voltage present at the output terminal of an op amp so this is small dc voltage we call it as an output offset voltage so now let us move to input offset voltage so in case of an input offset voltage so we will be applying a small dc voltage at the input terminal of an op amp the small dc voltage that is applied is in the range of 1 milli volts or 2 milli volts the purpose of applying this input offset voltage is to make this small dc voltage to a zero output or zero in order to produce a zero output voltage or in order to make vo is equal to 0 volts so we will be applying a small input offset voltage in terms of milli volts that is we will be applying a small dc voltage that small dc voltage in terms of milli volts that is either 1 milli volt or 2 milli volt is applied in order to produce an output voltage of 0 volt so this is called as an input offset voltage or even it is called as an offset nulling so making this small dc voltage to 0 volt so this is called as an offset nulling so next we'll move to the second parameter of an op amp that is input bias current so input bias current is an average bias current that is flowing at the two input terminals of the op amp so here i bias is equal to i1 plus i2 so i1 is a current that is flowing through an inverting input terminal of an op amp i2 is a current that is flowing through an non inverting input terminal of an op amp so input bias current is the average current that is flowing through an uh, that is flowing into an inverting as well as non inverting input terminal of an op amp it is given as i bias is equal to i1 plus i2 divided by 2 so next is input offset current so input offset current is the difference between the two bias current flowing towards the inputs of an op amp i repeat input offset current means it is the difference between the two bias current flowing towards the input terminals of the op amp so also it is also expressed as it is that is we are supposed to take the difference so you can write it as ib2 minus ib1 
so or current flowing through an non inverting terminal minus uh, bias current flowing through a non inverting terminal minus bias current flowing through inverting terminal so this is an input offset current so next we'll move to an input impedance so we know what is input impedance so input impedance is nothing but it is a resistance available at the input terminal of an op amp so there are two ways of uh, saying input impedance so one is called as an differential input impedance and another one is called as an common mode input impedance so one is called as an there are two ways of representing different uh, there are two ways of specifying the input impedance so the two ways are one is called as an differential input impedance and another one is called as an common mode input impedance so this is the circuit of an differential input impedance and this is about common mode input impedance so in case of differential input impedance input impedance is measured as total resistance between two terminals of an two input terminals of an op amp i repeat so in case of differential input impedance the it is resistance is measured as total resistance total resistance between two input terminals of an op amp the two input terminals are inverting and non inverting terminals so here as the name says a differential input there might be a different voltage present either at inverting terminal or at non inverting terminal then automatically current it may flow either from inverting terminal to non inverting terminal or it may be flowing from non inverting terminal to inverting terminal so therefore input impedance is measured as change in bias current for given differential input voltage so it is measured as change in bias current for given differential input voltage so i repeat differential input impedance so differential input impedance it is a resistance we are supposed to measure it is measured between the two input terminals of the op amp the two input terminals are inverting and non inverting terminals so here the name says differential so therefore it there might be a presence of different voltage either at this terminal that is inverting or at non inverting terminal so then automatically if there is a potential difference between two terminals then automatically the current need uh, the current starts to flow from one terminal to another terminal that is from inverting to non inverting or vice versa so therefore input impedance is measured as change in bias current for given differential input voltage so next we'll move to common mode input impedance so in case of common mode input impedance both the input terminals at both the at both the input terminals voltage is same or common because we will be applying a common input signals so therefore potential or the voltage available at both the input terminals remains common or same so therefore resistance is measured from each input terminal with and ground so resistance is measured between each input terminal and ground so here also it is measured between this terminal with respect to ground again it is measured between this terminal and ground so this is called as an common mode input impedance so next we will move to an output impedance so output impedance is nothing but a resistance available at the output terminal of an op amp so it is denoted as z out so here uh, the output impedance is the resistance viewed from output terminal of the op amp or resistance calculated between output terminal and ground so this is called as an output impedance of an op amp so next we'll move to common mode rejection ratio so common mode rejection ratio is a very important parameter of an op amp so that is used to measure the ability of an op amp to suppress or reject the signals that are common to both the inputs of an op amp i repeat so common mode rejection ratio means it is a parameter of an op amp it is used to measure the ability of an op amp to suppress or reject the signals that are common to both the inputs of the op amp so that is when both the inputs of the op amp are common or same or identical then it is having an ability to produce a zero output voltage so this is called as an common mode rejection so here the common mode rejection ratio means the measure of an amplifier ability to reject the common mode signal 
is called is a parameter called as common mode rejection ratio so now this is well understood with an example so now consider an op amp it is applied with a two input signals so wherein the two signals having a two com or two things so the one is called as an desired signal so the thick signal is indicates it is a desired signal and a dotted line indicates dotted signal indicates it is a noise or noise means it is an unwanted signal so when there is a two information available in each of the uh, signal that is in, in uh, available at each terminal of an op amp so one of the signal is called to be as an desired signal and another one a dotted signal cons is considered to be as a noise signal so this this noise signal as well as desired signal are in phase or are with the same phase and it is applied to an inverting terminal of an op amp so similarly at a non inverting terminal of an op amp we have a noise signal and as well as a desired signal so check out the noise signal are in phase at both inverting terminal and non inverting terminal hence noise signal is considered to be as a common signal so a identical signal or the phase and amplitude as well as frequency of the noise signal is same whereas a desired signal phase is it is of an opposite one so we know here we are combining a two concepts that is one is common mode concept and another one is differential mode concept so here dotted signal indicates it is a noise signal they are in phase exactly identical or same whereas a desired signal is out of phase so due to applying uh, applying this particular signal to an inverting terminal so the phase of both desired signal as well as noise signal are going to get out of phase or it is inverted or polarity is reversed whereas because of applying the noise signal and desired signal to a non inverting terminal it is reproduced as it is now check out the noise signal comes out of phase whereas desired signal comes in phase so hence noise signals are going to get cancel each other so now op amp is going to take the difference of these two signals that is desired signal difference will be taken and further it is amplified so hence we are going to get an amplified desired signal whereas a noise signal is eliminated from the required signal so this is considered to be as an common mode uh, parameter so common mode rejection ratio means it is having an ability to reject the common mode signals so it is you best useful for eliminating the noise information so now as i told cmrr is defined as a ratio of differential gain to a common mode gain so cmrr is as per the definition it is differential gain divided by common gain so where ad indicates differential gain ac indicates it is common mode gain so also it is given as an cmrr is equal to open loop gain divided by common mode gain so either you can represent by this way so now let us distinguish between what is differential gain and what is common mode gain of an op amp so we here we have discussed uh, cmrr means it is differential gain divided by common mode gain so now let us discuss what is um, what is differential gain and what is common mode gain so we know differential gain means when two input voltages let us consider the two input voltages as v1 and v2 so provided v1 is not equal to v2 are applied to an op amp then output of the op amp is given by vo is equal to ad into vd so this is the output equation of an op amp output equation of an op amp is vo is equal to ad into vd so ad means it is differential gain vd means it is voltage difference or differential voltage or difference between the two applied input voltages so vd can be represented as v2 minus v1 so therefore here e1 replace vd by v2 minus v1 so therefore we are going to get vo is equal to ad into vd so now 
take out ad that is it is considered to be as a differential gain so you know the definition of a gain gain means it is output divided by input so your output parameter is vo and input parameter is vd so this is called as an differential gain so how to calculate differential gain means output divided by input that is input must be an differential input voltage so now we'll discuss what is common mode gain so name itself says common mode so now we are supposed to consider two input voltages that are identical so now uh, uh, that is two input voltages which we have applied it must be v2 must be equal to v1 must be equal to both v2 and v1 are equal so hence we will call this voltage as an common voltage so output equation of an op amp is given by it is vo is equal to ac into vc so here ac indicates it is common mode gain so vc indicates it is a common voltage both the voltages are same hence we are considered it as an vc so now when two input voltages are exactly identical we expect zero voltage at the output terminal so this happens in case of an ideal op amp but practically there is a small non-zero voltage output voltage available at the output terminal of an op amp so that is vo is equal to ac into vc so if you want to take out the common gain uh, as i told a means it is gain parameter c indicates it is common mode gain so ac indicates it is common mode gain always definition of gain is it is output divided by input so therefore it is vo divided by vc vo divided by vc so in general when we apply two input signal that is v1 and v2 to an op amp the output voltage is given by vo is equal to ad into vd plus ac into vc so this ad into vd you can consider it for a desired signal whereas ac into vc that is you can uh, in order to remove the noise signal you may include this particular parameter so here vd means it is differential voltage it is going to take the difference of the two input voltages so here it should be v2 minus v1 so please make a changes it should be v2 minus v1 whereas vc is equal to it is v1 plus v, uh, v2 divided by it is v1 plus v2 divided by it is 2 so this is called as an or, or, uh, uh, common voltage this is about common mode gain so differential gain means ad is equal to vo divided by vd whereas common mode gain is vo divided by vc so here CMMR is equal to AD divided by AC. So this is regarding common mode rejection ratio. So next we will discuss the last parameter of an op amp that is sleeve rate. So here the sleeve rate it is the measuring parameter of an op amp. So sleeve rate is a maximum rate of change of output voltage in response to the change in the input signal. So here it is sleeve rate is it is a maximum rate of change of output voltage in response to a step input voltage is sleeve rate of an op amp or it is in response to an change in the input signal. So here if the input changes at t is equal to 0 so then output takes a delta amount a delta t time to change. So now we will be applying a small input signal say step input signal so it, uh, it is going to take time t is equal to 0 so we are going to make a changes at the input terminal so i'll i'll be applying an input signal wherein if in when wherein input signal is going to change its state from 0 to 1 time taken for changing from 0 to 1 is t is equal to 0 so whereas at the output it is going to take a small amount of time to change so this small amount of time we call it as an delta t so delta t is the amount of time taken in order to change the output when an input signal is applied so if input changes at t is equal to 0 then output takes delta t so input changes at t is equal to 0 whereas output takes delta time to delta t time to change so that is output does not give the response immediately for rising and falling input because op amp 
it has an internal capacitor wherein it takes a small amount of time to charge and discharge the capacitor so here delta t is the amount of time required for output voltage to go from minus v max to plus v max so here sleeve rate is given as delta v out divided by delta t and unit of sleeve rate is it is volts per microsecond so uh, unit of time uh, sleeve rate is it is volts per microsecond so for example if i take 1 volt per microsecond so meaning for every meaning of 1 volt per microsecond is for every 1 microseconds of time output changes by 1 volt I repeat so for example I denote a sleeve rate value as an example as 1 volts per microsecond so meaning of this is for every 1 microseconds output is going to change by 1 volt so if 10 volt output is expected then 10 microseconds is needed to change the output by 10 volt so this is regarding sleeve rate so summary is we have learned what are the various parameters what are the important and various parameters of an op-amp so the important parameters of an op-amp that we have studied are input and output offset voltage so that is a small DC voltage is present at the output terminal and a small DC input voltage is applied at the input terminal of an op-amp so input bias current is it is an average bias current flowing at an inverting and non-inverting terminal so input imp impedance is expressed in two ways that is a differential input impedance and common mode input impedance and we have an output impedance as well as common mode rejection ratio so under common mode rejection means common mode rejection ratio is it is uh, differential gain divided by common mode gain so in detail we have discussed what is differential gain as well as what is common mode gain and finally we have ended the topic with a sleeve rate parameter so these are the concepts that are discussed in this particular lecture thank you